This is a beautiful male spoonbilled sandpiper in breeding plumage. You can see this rich russet head and scapulars on its back. And this is just a few days after arrival and he's already found a mate. So they're in a courtship phase here prior to egg laying. During this period, the male tries to keep really close tabs on the female. And here he's lost track of her and he's trying to locate her again. There could be other competing males in the area, so it's in its best interest to keep good track of her. Here he's announcing his territory, also a signal to other males that might try to move in. The pair stays pretty close together and they'll copulate often and prospect for potential nest sites. So here's the female over by the lake shore. She's quietly foraging. Looks like she just grabbed a crowberry there. You can see this female is banded. It's the only bird in the area that's banded, and she was actually captured at this precise location several years prior and had nested there before. She appears very similar to the male, maybe a little more spotty, but what really gives her away during this time of year is her behavior. She's quieter, she's more subdued in her behavior, where the male is really vigilant and active. So here's the male again, he's found the female. And when he's approaching her and getting ready to try to copulate, he'll stand very erect and sort of try to corral her with his body as he's walking along. Perhaps it's a signal to her that his advances are not aggressive. Here he is following her again with that really erect stance. And eventually he'll get some signal from her that she might be receptive and he'll go in and try to copulate. And they'll do this many times throughout a day during the period before they start laying eggs and while they're laying eggs. So here he is getting ready to copulate. He raises his wings and is calling really rapidly. Doesn't look like she was ready that time. Another thing he'll do is this nest scrape display, where he'll go around and he'll find potential locations to nest. And what he's doing here is kicking with his back feet and using his body to make a shallow depression in the crowberry vegetation here. And once he feels that it's suitable, he'll start rapidly calling to attract the female's attention, and she'll walk over and inspect it. This will happen many times throughout a day, and eventually she'll decide on a suitable spot and lay the first of four eggs. <laughs> 